for part two, what we would need to do is you are going to go ahead and think about what color you want to do. I would trace around your shapes with that color. I've used masking tape containers as well, and our masking tape rolls, excuse me, um, as well with this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start labeling how my spaces are going to be. This outside space for mine is going to be black, so I used a black marker to outline everything. If you wanted it to be blue, go ahead and use a blue marker. If you want it to be red, use a red marker. Very lightly, I'm going to go ahead and label this. So if this is going to be black, this is going to be white. And what we're going to do is we're going to alternate it. Okay, so this is black, this is going to be white, which means that this would be black and this would be white in this space. Okay, which means this is black, this is white, this would be black. This, since this is white, would be black. Okay, so you're going to do that throughout your whole picture. Okay, and once you are done, you can go ahead and take a marker or a crayon or whatever and start coloring that space so that it is completely black. It might be a good idea for you to put something underneath here so that you can go all the way to the edge. Try to color in one direction when you're doing this so it doesn't look sloppy, so it looks nice and neat. Okay, and this is one um, in the classroom that we use paint for when we do this in the classroom. We use paint and we paint the spaces. And so you would color this entire thing. And when you are done, what you would end up with is something that looks like this. Okay, so you would have the whole thing positive and negative and it's reversed. So you keep doing that reversal. Positive space is the space that's being taken up or used. Negative space is the space around it. Okay, so you have a positive negative space ground reversal. Okay, so like I said, you just keep coloring that whole thing in. Color in those spaces that you've labeled. After you get everything labeled, this whole thing will be colored and you'll have a completed picture like that. Good job. I hope you have fun.